Hello and welcome. Today we are doing a pick a card reading to uncover what guidance the universe has to help you find your next million dollar idea. So that inspiration, action, or concept that's going to lead to a whole new level of abundance in your life. This is a timeless reading, so anytime you find this video is exactly when you need to hear this message. I always use the cards to channel messages directly from Source and the Spirit Guides, Deities, and Collective that I work with, so this will be exactly what you need to hear right now. Now remember, as we dive into our readings, that you are the creator of your reality. So always take what you need from these readings, take what resonates, and leave what doesn't. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you have found this video and this channel. My name is Taylor Eaton. I am the author of the Wealthy Woman Oracle Deck, which is normally one that I have to, for you to pick from, but we are actually going to be picking from some of these tarot decks, but we will be incorporating the Wealthy Woman Oracle Deck throughout each of the readings because in my not so biased opinion, it is the best deck out there for doing any sort of reading around money, career, success, abundance. So we will definitely be incorporating that. Three really quick notes to share with you all before we dive in. First, we are actually currently out of stock of the Wealthy Woman Oracle deck. So truly thank you to those of you who have purchased the deck, who have supported this deck and me. I have something really exciting coming for you if you did purchase the deck at any point in the past. Um, as long as you're on my email list, the link to join that is in the description below, but as long as you're on my email list, if you've purchased the deck in the past, in the next week or two, there will be some really cool opportunities for you to get some exclusive, uh, exclusive stuff uh, as a thank you for uh, purchasing and supporting me in the deck. Uh, if you don't have the deck and you want to grab it, you can pre-order it for our next print run at the link in the description below. Though I will say that if you want to grab it for my email or sign up for my email list, right, uh, at the link in the description below as well, I will be sending out an exclusive discount code to use for pre-order to my email list only very soon. So you may want to do that first. Um, so yeah, all those links are below for you. The second announcement here is that if you want to get some support in quantum leaping, stepping into your next level of abundance, into your next million dollar idea, you are absolutely welcome to come join me inside of the Wealth Vibe membership. We just started a challenge in there yesterday uh, to master the foundational skills that will allow you to successfully shift into your wealthiest timeline and manifest the abundance that you desire. This is the step-by-step -step foundational pieces of what I have done time and time again to manifest huge, amazing things like leaping from 2K months to 20K months of my business in a six-week period, uh, leaping from a self-published Oracle deck to a huge global distribution deal without ever querying anyone. It literally was handed to and fell into my lap. Um, just so many amazing quantum leaps. So I want to share this approach I have refined for myself over time with you. And that's what we're doing inside of the Wealth Vibe membership. We also have a book club in there, an amazing community of like-minded people, exclusive meditations, personalized card polls, and so much more inside of the Wealth Vibe membership, all for just $25 a month. And you can cancel at any time. So come check it out. I would love to get to personally connect with you in there. The link for the membership is of course in the description below and in the pinned comment. And then lastly, I do not offer private readings outside of the Wealthified membership. So please do not be scammed by anyone in the comments or on other social media pl platforms pretending to be me. I will absolutely never message you and ask you to pay me for a reading. So if anyone does that, that is not me. Now let's run through the decks and their crystals so that you can pick your deck or decks. If you want to watch multiple videos, you are absolutely welcome to. That means there is guidance for you that you need to hear in multiple readings that we're about to do. Um, so let's let's run through those. For deck number one, right here, we have Garnet. And this is our very dark Garnet stone. For deck number two, we have Jade. For deck number three here, we have Pyrite. And for deck number four, over here we have Tiger's Eye. We 
we will be incorporating multiple decks, not all of these into each of the readings, but different decks. We'll be incorporating some Oracle decks into each of the readings. I will, as always, list all of the decks used in this reading in the description below in case you're curious about what any of them are. Uh, you are absolutely welcome now to pause the video if you need to, to get clarity on which deck or decks are calling to you. And then you are able to just go click the timestamps below in the description to jump to whichever deck or decks you're called to. And I'll see you in your reading. Hello, deck number one. Let's dive right into your reading today to uncover what guidance the universe has to help you unlock your next million dollar idea and step into that next level of abundance in your life. So we're gonna start off here with our tarot deck and let's just get a couple cards right off the bat. <laughs> uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles for you. Let's see, this is already exciting. We're, I'm right now wanting to shuffle to get guidance for what you can do to unlock or find or download this million, million dollar idea. Like, we're gonna get you more clarity on it here, but how are you gonna really flesh it out? How are you going to get all the details you need? Because this is a general reading, right? But how are you going to really fully understand um, exactly what you need for this idea? How are you gonna access this idea in its entirety, be able to run with it, all of that good stuff? All right, that feels complete. All right, we have our Knight of Pentacles, our Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands, and we have the Sun card. So what I'm seeing that's really exciting here for you, Deck One, is that uh, your million dollar idea, it's like I would not be surprised if this is some sort of business venture. Uh, like you're gonna build a whole legacy around whatever this idea is that we're gonna get more clarity on kind of more of the general direction of it. But it's something that's gonna actually lead you down this whole other path, this whole other kind of undertaking. Um, it's it's really a new chapter of your life. I know I said, you know, like stepping into a new level of abundance, but when we think about how we can step into a new level of abundance, it can look any which way out of a sea of infinite possibilities, right? Like it could be winning the lottery, it could be, uh, you know, inheriting money, it could be, you know, just kind of like some dumb luck almost. But for you, what I'm seeing is you're actually going to build something. You are going to build something meaningful. You're going to build something that, like I said, leaves a legacy. That's what I'm going to keep getting the word legacy uh, from source here. And what's so beautiful about it is that it's going to be something that only you can do. Like you're, you're the only person on, in the whole world who can do exactly what you're going to do. You are the only person who are going, who's going to have this vision, this, maybe not just this idea, but this, the way of executing it and carrying it out. It is going to be some work. That's, I see it in pretty much every card that's out right now. This is going to be work. It's going to be something that you dedicate yourself to, and it's going to require that dedication from you. And I'm getting the sense of that you're not someone who's afraid of a little bit of hard work. And if you're like, that does not resonate with me, then that's something for you to look at that might be blocking you from even truly receiving this, this download of this million dollar, dollar idea that's meant for you and that's waiting for you. Because the universe is saying that while whatever this idea is that occurs to you, while it will require a whole process, a whole chapter of your life, a whole journey that you're going to embark on in order to carry it out and bring that vision into reality and have it bring you all this abundance and wealth you desire, in order for you to do that, it's going to require that dedication from you. It's going to require this hard work, but it's going to pay off so big, deck one. That's what is so exciting. It is going to pay off so big, especially what I'm seeing here with our sun card, with our seven of wands. It's just, there is, oh, like, you are going to be so successful with what you do. You are going to get to this point where you have other people copying you, trying to get to where you are, trying to do the same thing. I wouldn't be surprised if you kind of revolutionize, revolutionize an industry, if you create something that is just so impressive, so successful. Like, I'm again, I'm seeing like a business, a movement, um, 
a brand, a product. It could also be just, you know, kind of climbing to the top of the corporate ladder in a very quick way, in a way that's just unimaginable for people and you're just so polished at it and you're so impressive as you do it and you just revolu revolutionize the company and take it to new heights it's never been to before. Like you're undertaking some big thing. It's not something that you just do in an afternoon. It's not something that you just do in a week, but that your million dollar idea that's waiting for you is something that is going to be, I'm getting your life's work is what I'm getting. Like you are going to have, if you don't already know what your life's work is, you're going to have more clarity on what your life's work is, like what your sole purpose really is in terms of the legacy you're here to build and leave, the impact you're here to have. And uh, you are going to see more and more how that can make you money. Again, we're going to get some more clarity and some more guidance for you with some other decks in a moment. But what I wanted to come back to is what I was just saying of you are going to have some wild amount of success with this million dollar idea. It's going to be very visible, very visible to the public or to the people in your company or to uh, the people around you. It's going to be, it's not this quiet kind of secret success and wealth. It is very public. And I say that in a good way. Like I see so much admiration, also maybe a little bit of jealousy from others, but people, no matter what, are going to try to, as you climb the ladder, as you have more and more success, as you kind of toil away and put in the work and get the rewards and reap the, the benefits and all the wealth that's going to come to you from this venture that you're going to go on, people are going to look at you and they're going to try to, they're like, I want to do it too. You're going to inspire people. But they're going to they're gonna try to do it and they're not going to be able to do it just like you do. They might do it in their own way. They might take things in a different direction. They might have their own success and genius, but none of it will ever touch or take away from the success you achieve. So Source is just telling me that to communicate to you that as you embark on this, don't ever for a second worry that someone will be able to copy you and 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 steal your success away. That's It's not possible. You are, like I said earlier, the only person who is capable of doing this, of executing this big idea. Again, the big idea is kind of in the general direction, this million dollar idea is in the general direction of some sort of movement, business, um, revolution of something, of some industry, of some company, taking a company or industry or business to new heights. Uh, Honestly, sources saying, are you thinking about purchasing a company or starting a business or, um, you know, kind of trying to bring, you know, really bring the company you're at up and help it just skyrocket and grow? Or do you have an idea to help your business or someone else's business skyrocket and grow? You might also be a consultant and you just come in, but you like really take a business that means a lot and is helping a lot of people to the next level and you get highly compensated for it, right? So these are all just kind of the general direction that I'm seeing. But if you have had any ideas around any of that sort of stuff, Source is saying to explore it because there's that that kind of pearl, that kernel, that seed of that million dollar idea in that area for you. That's where to kind of start looking. Um, but again, this is going to require dedication. So make sure it's something that you want to do, that you want to commit yourself to. It doesn't mean that you have to be working 24 seven. It doesn't mean that this is going to be really hard and arduous, well, a little arduous, but it's not going to feel painful to you. It might feel like it stretches you at times. It might feel like it pushes you out of your comfort zone at times, but it's not necessarily going to it's not going to break you and it's never going to make you feel like you can't handle this or you've bitten off more than you can chew. Like you, if you from the outset, from the start, decide to yourself when you figure out what's the idea is and you get truly clear on it and you go, that's it. I'm going all in on it and I'm committed to making this work. You will be unstoppable. You will not be afraid to put in the work because the work will feel like it has purpose because it does have purpose because it's getting you to the end goal, not just the money, which that's part of it. You will be wildly, fantastically compensated for this if you dedicate yourself to it. Uh, but you, you are going to be so in love with the work that you're doing, even if the day-to-day -day work sometimes feels a little challenging and stretches you, like I said, it will, you'll, you'll be able to have at the back of your mind, like this purpose, this legacy you're building. Ooh, source is saying, if you've had an idea for a business or you've had an idea to buy a business or anything like that, 
look at what the legacy is. Get clear on what legacy you want to leave, what contribution you want to make to the world, uh, and make sure that whatever business you start or grow or help take off or, you know, revolutionize, make sure that it's aligned with whatever kind of legacy you want to leave, right? Uh, so get clear on what legacy you want to leave, and then that million dollar idea is going to become so much more apparent to you, right? Like what you need to do next. Let's also get some guidance for deck one. I want to see more about what this idea is going to be around, just the general direction of it. We already kind of have some of that with these cards of uh, you're going in the direction of business, uh, legacy, a movement, revolutionizing an industry, bringing up a business, helping someone grow theirs, all that sort of stuff. But I want to know a little bit more about it, find peace within. I'm already getting that you might be doing some sort of spiritual business or movement or something that helps people on a spiritual level. Um, and when I say spiritual, this could mean in, you know, a, a psychic way. It could mean in a um, more kind of like, I want to say emotional inner, uh, inner transformation, right? Like you might want to be trying to grow a spiritual business or something that helps people even I'm for some reason getting emotional intelligence helps people increase their emotional intelligence. We have Moonstone, live your purpose. Again, this, whatever this is, uh, this business venture, this legacy you're going to leave, it's, uh, it has to be aligned with your purpose. That's what this is saying, right? It has to be aligned with your purpose, purpose, overcome your fears. It's going to require you to overcome some fears to get there. But also I see that this is whatever your legacy is. That's going to be whatever, business venture that this million idea leads to, or this, you know, whatever this hard work is that you're putting into, whatever the million dollar idea is that you have, it's going to help you leave a legacy that helps others overcome their fears and find peace within and live their purpose. And it's going to help you do all of that in the process, which is really cool. Um, so again, like I said, spiritual business, maybe, uh, something in the realm of spirituality or, mental health even I'm getting potentially, uh, well-being, people's well-being, uh, something that really allows people to, to deal with, you know, kind of maybe the inner demons. I could see you doing this in, as, you know, some sort of therapy, some sort of therapy practice, counseling, coaching, um, but it also could be, you know, healing. It could be any of these things, but it, it uh, this is kind of like a lot of what the legacy is, is it's helping people live their best lives, helping them overcome their fears, find their peace within and live their purpose. Right there is basically a mission statement for you. <laughs> um, through whatever industry you're going to be in or, or want to be, you know, that you feel called to be in. So the universe is even saying right now, use this almost as a template to get really clear on what this million dollar idea is for you is, do you want to, you know, do you, do you want to start a business that helps people in some way with whatever modality or industry you're in, overcome their fears, find peace within and live their purpose? Do you want to go find a company or work for a company that is helping people overcome their fears, find peace within and live their purpose? It could even be through like their diet or their nutrition. Um, but you help a company that has that at the, at the core of what they do. And that's the legacy you're going to help grow and leave in this world. Start thinking about, you know, where, what industry, what niche, what, uh, what, what kind of focus, what do you want to do that's going to help people overcome their fears, find peace within and live their purpose, right? I can keep saying it over and over, but it's, that's really for you what, what the legacy is that you're going to leave, but you're going to do it in a specific industry, in a specific field is what I'm getting. So yeah, that's really cool. This is again, like I said, like your life's work. And let's be clear, you can have multiple life's works in your life. You don't have to just do one thing and that's it. This is just that next thing, this next chapter that's ready to appear to you, that's ready for you to open yourself up to and commit yourself to and really build up and be massively and wildly compensated for it because you're going to help so many people, Dick, when you're going to help so many people with whatever this is. These, This is the Wealthy Woman Oracle deck. This is the deck I authored. We are going to pull a couple cards just to see what you need to do to to make money with this idea. Um, I already kind of know you are going to be really just, uh, you know, you're living your own purpose. So when we do that, I always think money, you know, tends to follow that. But beyond that, 
uh, what you need to do in order to, ooh, very interesting, in order to really make sure that this legacy takes off and this million dollar idea gains traction, right? Uh, is that you're gonna have to start to learn to manage your finances a little bit differently, uh, especially if you need to find investors or funding for your business that you're starting up or this movement. Um, you're gonna need to kind of learn how to play the game a little bit is what I'm getting. And the universe is saying, don't be intimidated by that. Like with whatever, whatever you are doing, right? Uh, maybe it's also your personal finances. I get the sense it's more finances related to whatever business you're going to grow or start or help, you know, create or whatever movement you're doing, you're going to need to understand the financial aspect of it. Oh, I'm also getting, it might be a nonprofit of some sort that you start or contribute to and help really make it really impactful and create really big changes in the world with it. That's really cool. Um, but you, you've got to learn how the financial aspect of it works. Even if you're not doing the accounting and the nitty gritty of it, maybe you are, you will be so much more successful and make so much more money if you understand the flow of money within whatever business or movement you are working in and building up to leave this legacy with. Uh, it's very easy to not know what what that looks like, right? To, to just especially if you aren't working with the money directly and you're just like, I do the marketing or I, you know, I'm the idea person. I come up with all the ideas or all the campaigns we run or all the product ideas and to not really understand the financial flow of it. Uh, you can run a business like that because if you have other people handling the money side of it, but you are going to be able to take whatever business or movement you do so much further and help so many more people with it if you understand the financial flow behind it is what I'm getting. Um, and then also you have to show up confidently. You're going to have to get a lot of people on board with what you're doing. Uh, because again, you're kind of trailblazing. This is something no one else can do, something that's maybe a little different or out there, or you're taking it to a level no one's ever seen it taken to before. Uh, like a global level is what I'm getting. And you're going to have to get people on board. You're going to have to convince people that this is worthwhile, maybe even to invest in, right? Um, to be, you know, partners with or to invest in your, in this movement. Um, it also could be that you are, you know, just encouraging people to work with you or get on board or to buy your product or whatever. It's like, but in order to do all of that and to make money with this legacy you're building, which is your million dollar idea, you are going to need to radiate abundance. You are going to need to embody confidence, embody certainty and embody already being successful and wealthy, right? Like if you can embody those things when you are pitching your product, your service, yourself to a company to hire you, uh, what you can do for someone, getting investors, whatever it is, anytime you're making sort of pitches or even selling like whatever product or service you create, right? Whatever it is, you need to radiate that confidence. So if you don't have that already, like that's the inner work to be doing. The rest of this is for you to get really clear. The rest of the guidance here is for you to just get really clear on what kind of legacy do I want to leave? How do I want to help people overcome their fears, find peace within and live their purpose? What, what way do I want to go about building a legacy around that? Again, is it my own business? Is it through this, this product? Is it what area? Is it through the health industry? Is it through the mental health industry? Is it through um, a nonprofit? Is it through helping end world hunger? Like, what is it? What is it that you want to tackle? Dream big, the universe is saying. Deck one, dream big. You're capable of doing really, really big things in this life you're meant to. And the idea has for how you're actually going to do all this, of so this movement you're going to create, this legacy you're going to leave, it's already either occurred to you or the seeds of it are within you already is what I'm getting. And you just need to make some space to listen to it and to get clear on what kind of legacy you want to leave. And then the, all that, the specific details for you specifically are going to fill in very easily. And you're going to start to understand that uh, and, and have the fully fledged million dollar idea. So there you go. Deck one, really, really big energy, really big potential, um, really big power. I just saw, I just realized Tiger's Eye was our deck four stone. So if you felt called to between deck one and deck four, uh, 
this might be your confirmation to go check out deck four's reading after this if you if that called to you right uh, but yeah really cool stuff so yeah I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below letting me know what you took from this reading and how it resonated. I really love getting to hear your thoughts on these readings. They mean so much to me when you comment, um, and I love getting to connect with you in the comments. You are also welcome to subscribe to my channel for future card readings for abundance if you're not already subscribed. And if you want to come join me inside of the Wealth Vibe membership so you can get access to all the resources, support, and community you need to actually manifest the wealth you desire to go after your big legacy, your big vision that you are going to build to really manifest that wealth through your life's work, uh, then I would love to get to connect with you inside of the membership. The link for the membership and the link to also pre-order the Wealthy Woman Oracle deck are both in the description below. And with all that being said, I'm wishing you massive prosperity, success, impact, not that you need the wishes for it, it's all there within you, and of course, wishing you massive abundance as well. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye. Hello, deck number two. Let's dive into your reading to uncover what guidance the universe has to help you unlock your next million dollar idea and step into that next level of abundance. So we're gonna dive right in today. We're gonna start shuffling your, your tarot cards and just see, I wanna get... We have some cards already. I want to get uh, two more cards. I want to get four total to see just some things to start us off around. Maybe what this million dollar idea kind of might be generally. Especially I kind of want to know like what you can do to unlock it. To find this guidance. Guidance okay, is coming through very strong for you. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, so we have king of coins, which is great to see starting off. Queen of coins, I'm going to... YouTube can be funny about putting censorship warnings on there, so we're going to cover that up. As silly as that is, we have our three of coins. So many coins for you, tech dude, is what we love to see in a money reading, right? Um, and king of wands. So what I'm seeing, my loves, is that uh, first of all, your million dollar idea is going to be something in the realm of healing. Like it's going to be something in the realm of uh, healing. This could be literal, right? Like medicine, doctor, uh, for some reason, acupuncturist is coming through. Uh, it could be, you know, going to nursing school. It could be emotional he healing, spiritual healing. There's a lot of different ways we can heal, right? Healing our gut health is coming through, right? Like there's, there's, for so many of you watching, I get the sense that a lot of you who are drawn to deck two are healers of some sort, whether that's what you currently do to make money or not. Um, you are at your core, a healer in some way. And what I'm seeing is that your next million dollar idea, the next thing that's available to you uh, to help you bring in more abundance and all that sort of stuff is it's going to come through healing, right? There's going to be some sort of idea that you get to access. We'll get some more clarity on it with more cards as we go in this reading. But there's the way the money is going to come to you, the way you're going to step into that next level of abundance is going to be through something that you do around some sort of healing. Again, you could be in a healing profession or it could just be that what you do, even if it's not healing work or medicinal or, you know, energy healing or anything like that, even if you're not like classifying yourself in the work that you do as a healer, what you might do can heal people. So it might even be an idea for, uh, you know, like a product that helps people sleep better at night, a product that helps, maybe it's even an app that helps you track your sleep or gamify your dieting or your, your nutrition, right? Like there's so many different things that could help people heal in different ways. And you have an idea that's available to you that you can start to tap into. That's the universe is ready to give you uh, you might already have some inkling of this. You, this might be something that you find in the next, I'm getting like a couple weeks to months, but you get to be, start looking for the universe saying, start looking for things in the realm that can help people heal in some way where you might find this healing, like this idea of how you can help people heal in some way or get the million dollar idea, right? That's going to, if you're already kind of like, I know how I heal people, I'm a healer or I do X, Y, and Z. 
how you might find that clarity of, well, what's the million dollar idea? I've been doing this work forever and not making as much as I want or whatever it is. The way you're going to find it is through some sort of mentor or teacher. Now, this doesn't mean that a mentor or teacher is necessarily going to hand you the, uh, the million dollar idea, the idea that's going to take you to that next level of abundance. They could, but it might be that through working with some sort of teacher or mentor, you end up unlocking more gifts in yourself that then give you, you know, you realize, okay, these are the things I can leverage to bring me to that next level of abundance and help others heal on that next level and be compensated for it. Uh, it might be that you start to get more confidence in your own skills or you start to see a need for things in the market because of working with a mentor. I'm just seeing so much, especially with this three of coins, there's so much abundance to be had. Um, from working and, and I, this idea to be found from working with some sort of mentor. This could be a coach. It could be, uh, it could be someone who's senior to you at your company who's training you, right? It could be so many different people can be mentors in your life. It doesn't even have to be someone who you're doing necessarily work with. It could be someone who's, you know, kind of more of a role model to you in your life. Whatever it is, look to your, look to a mentor or seek out mentorship if that feels correct to you. But in doing that, you're going, in, in doing mentorship, especially if you can find some mentorship around, you know, whatever, you, however you feel called to heal, that could really be powerful. But again, if you're just doing kind of more like you're a role model for me in my life and blah, 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 uh, talk to them more about the healing stuff or just look for things that, you know, they say in you that you go, oh, that might be something I could help people heal around, right? So just know that the million dollar idea is probably going to come through some sort of mentorship. It's going to come either occur to you because of the work you do in the mentorship, the relationship you have, or because of something your mentor helps you unlock in yourself. So if it feels aligned, right, finding mentorship where that feels aligned, uh, or looking at mentorship you already have and seeing how can I, you know, what ideas are here for me, what could be unlocked here for me, um, especially in the realm of how I help people heal. But once you find that, you're going to, you're going to, I get, I'm getting the guidance here. You're going to know so easily what, what the, the, the million dollar idea is when you hear it and when it, or when it occurs to you, you're just going to know actually like you're going to be, and you're going to be so solid in it. And as soon as you know, you'll be like, yep, that's it. I'm all in. And it's going to be getting that. It's actually going to be very like grounding for you in a way. I get the sense you might've been kind of looking for this for a while. Of course, you know, if you're on this reading, you're like, yeah, of course, I've been looking for more ways to make money for a while, right? Or get to that next level of abundance. But uh, I get the sense it's, it, this goes deeper than that for you. It goes deeper into you've maybe felt a little bit unmoored or a little untethered because you're trying to look for something to maybe give more meaning or direction to your natural healing abilities or your natural... Um, you know, desires or, or you're maybe even feeling, I've got the sense that like feeling unfulfilled in your work, unfulfilled in, uh, what you, what you do day to day, or you just know there's a deeper level you can go to. There's a deeper level you can help people heal on. There's also maybe even, um, more abundance available to you. I think you might know all of those, those kind of things or sense some of those things and, once you find this million dollar idea, not only are you going to know it, it's going to ground you. It's going to give you more of a sense of purpose, more of a sense of direction. Um, and it's going to be something that you'll put in some effort and some work into it, but it's not going to be like all consuming, all hard. It's just like, it's almost, I get the sense like it's almost a tweak in direction of what you're doing now. Like this isn't, it's a big idea because of the potential it has to change your life, your finances and other people's lives and help people heal, which is so so beautiful and so uh, important, but it's, it's not actually that big, <laughs> that big of a shift or thing you have to do. It's something that you're going to be able to very easily start to move into. It might take, I see there's like a little bit of work involved, a little bit of dedication to it, a little bit of maybe again, learning some new skills that will allow you to execute on this idea. There might be uh, some, you know, needing to go find the right mentor, right? Like, or once you have the idea, it might be, you know, you, you have this idea, but it's kind of, there's these roadblocks, but I have this intense sense of peace and sturdiness and groundedness about you once you receive or, you know, download or unlock your million dollar idea through your mentorship, right? You're going to have, you just have, I, my guides keep giving me this 
It's this expansive, strong peacefulness and like groundness and purposefulness. You have so much purpose and you're going to, you'll be like, okay, this is it. This is the direction I need. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know what I'm here to do. I know what I'm trying to bring into this world. Uh, I know exactly like the kind of offer I want to create around this. I know exactly uh, what I want to help people heal around. I know the impact I want to have. Like it's going to be almost refreshing for you to have this clear direction uh, when you have this idea finally solidify in place and get this next piece of, you know, this big vision of what you're moving toward. Uh, so I think, I see you'll easily be able to rise to the challenge of it. You'll easily be able to implement it. Again, there might be times you stretch and grow and it pushes you a little bit out of your comfort zone, but it does, it, to me, I don't get any sense here. There's nothing coming through that's telling me that this is going to be hard for you to execute on. I'm actually also getting that it might even at times feel so easy that you doubt that this can be the thing that really gets you to that next level of wealth or financial abundance, uh, or that people even want to pay for it or see the value in it. And the universe is saying like, don't go that far down the thinking, like it feels easy to you because you have the gifts that make it easy. It's easy for you because of the person you're going to become through your mentorship. Ooh, that's really cool. That's really cool. So deck two, there's, there's really just this sense of relief the sense of peace within you and this willingness and excitement to move toward this, this idea once you, it really drops in and lands, which again is going to come through some sort of mentorship or, or guide that you have. Um, and it's just, it's going to be so fruitful. It's going to be so fruitful. It's going to be easy, but it's, it's going to give you like new life. I see like a rebirth, like you're going to have almost this new kind of lease on life once you that you fully get clear on what this idea, what this direction is, what this million dollar idea is, because it's going to, like I said, give you purpose, give you something to kind of fight for that you feel is worthy of your time and worthy of bringing into the world. Um, and it's just going to, it's just such a beautiful, nurturing, calm energy around all of this, but very sturdy, very, very stable. So there's going to be a lot more financial security ahead for you as you pursue this idea. Uh, it's going to be, like I said, relatively easy to do. This is really, really kind of like the best you can hope for, right? <laughs> a million dollar idea. So to sum up with these cards far, and we'll pull some more, um, but this is going to be something that allows you to help other people heal. So your idea that you're looking for, your million dollar idea, be on the lookout in deck two for how you can help people heal and what feels aligned to you to help them to do that. And as you start to kind of maybe journal on those questions, reflect on those questions, sit with those questions and especially bring them up with a mentor, a guide, a role model, or just keep them in mind as you're talking to or working with a mentor, a guide, a role model, that idea is going to start to solidify and you're going to start to get clarity on it and it's going to pop into place. Um, and as you do that, it's going to be so incredibly easy to to just execute on it and just have it take off and have it be successful. Um, I do get the sense this is going to impact a lot of people. It's going to change a lot of lives. I don't necessarily see this being, it might not be a global thing. It could eventually grow to be that. I get the sense it's more going to be still like a decent amount of people, like thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, maybe even a million or a couple million, but it, I don't get the sense this is necessarily like a global million dollar idea, but it's definitely something that's going to change a lot of lives and it's really needed. Um, and I get also, I get the sense that people are going to like look at you and they're going to be like, why didn't I think of that later on? Right? Like they're going to be like, why didn't I think of that? That's so obvious that there was a need for that. There's so, it's so obvious that the people wanted this kind of healing work. Why didn't I think of it? So um, yeah, think of the ways you w like to heal people, the ways you naturally heal others and look for, uh, look for ways you want to bring that to people. And especially talk about this with any sort of role model or guide you have. Tourmalinated quartz, uh, get out of your own way. I'm going to see what other cards we have here for you. We have speak your truth. If we can move this out of our way here now. my cards a bit. And we have I like shift your money mindset. <laughs> oh, all right. So here's what I'm getting my loves because you're a healer in nature 
in some shape or form. It might even be like, maybe you're an artist, but your art heals others or it helps you heal and that, you know, or maybe it, you know, is very soothing to other people. Um, you know, in some way, shape or form, you're an artist or you're a healer. It doesn't matter if you actually do quote unquote traditional healing work, right? Now, here's what I'm getting from these cards that we just pulled is that uh, there's there's some sort of kind of the healer's wound that you carry, and especially when it relates to money. And this could also be the artist's wound or the witch wound, right? Like all those sorts of things. Um, witch wound is a little bit more about being afraid to be seen. I don't get the sense that's what this is for you. I think for you, deck two, there's some sort of block that the universe is wanting you to be aware of so that you can really receive this full download of this million dollar idea and then actually act on it and make money with it. Uh, because again, since you're dealing with healing people in some way, we have a lot of stories that we're conditioned with that say, if you're healing people, especially if it's, you know, spiritual healing or energy healing or anything like that, we have a lot of stories that say, you can't be well paid and be a healer, right? Like it's the, the two are not compatible. Like if you truly cared about helping people and healing people, you wouldn't charge for it, right? And so uh, if there's any sort of form of that story or as an artist, right? Of like my art isn't valuable or I'm the starving artist or, you know, those sorts of stories, like it's hard to get paid for your art or your music or whatever it is. It's like, well, that's the sort of stuff, that's the money mindset that needs to be shifted so you can get out of your own way and actually speak your truth. Share the medicine you have with the world. Share your healing abilities, whether it takes the form of music or art or energy work or acupuncture or traditional medicine or whatever it is. You have to be able to see why it's so important for you to be compensated because otherwise the universe is saying to me, the universe is like a little afraid to actually give you this full idea the universe isn't afraid, but you know what I'm saying? It's The universe is hesitant to give you this full idea because there's this resistance to, like, charging for it, to receiving money for it um, in some shape or form, right? Whether it's I'm afraid other people will think I'm greedy or I can't, you know, no one will pay for that or I can't get, uh, you know, it makes me not a bad person. It makes me a bad person if I want to, you know... I, I do. I just want to help people. The universe is saying you have to understand that the more you are paid for what you do, the more people you can help. Because I see you. Ooh, I see you also with this million dollar idea, starting to train other people to do whatever it is that you're going to do, or create the products, or use the products, or the services, or whatever it is to help other people heal. Like you are going to have a whole team of students and people behind you eventually with this if you want to take it that far. So you have to understand that when you have more money so that you can pay your students, your employees, your team, uh, or you have the money to create the product that you want to create that's going to help people or the app, it's like when you can get paid for it, you can help more people, you can do more good. And so you have to shift that money mindset or else the idea, the, the full idea isn't going to drop in because the universe is like, you got to be paid for this. You need to be okay with being paid and you have to believe that you can be paid for this healing that maybe even comes so easily to you that you're like, how could I ever charge for that? It's a, It comes easily to you because it's a gift that you're supposed to use in this lifetime. The fact that it comes easily to you makes it more valuable and you should be charging more for it. Also, people will value your work in, in the healing if you charge for it. This doesn't mean you have to charge insane rates. You could if that's what feels aligned or if it's taking a lot from you to produce or give this healing to someone. But it just means that you have to make sure you are comfortably compensated. And doing that is going to open this ability for you to receive more and more and more. That's a lot of what's holding the idea back from fully forming for you is this insistence on holding on to the story that's keeping you in your own way from sharing your medicine. Um, it's this this money mindset block is what really needs to be to be shifted around not being, you can't charge for that, no one will pay for it. That makes you bad if you want to charge for it and heal, right? Like all of that needs to go, okay? Um, if you want help with that sort of thing, again, come into the Wealthified membership. The link is below for that because that we do a lot of that sort of stuff there. A lot of our challenges help us get out of that stuff. But also just, you can just ask yourself the question of like, why is why does it actually help other people for me to have more than enough money for me to get compensated 
for this healing work I want to do or that I naturally already do? How does, why is that important for me? For the greater good and also for the people who work with me who receive whatever this healing a million dollar idea is for me why why is it a good thing for them why is it important for them to pay that much i just had this conversation with someone inside my wealth by membership today actually uh, as i'm recording this we were having someone start this discussion not around healing but around your know, spiritual business owners and your rates and all that and uh, it's such a good conversation because it, it kicks up a lot of these stories of, you know, like people not understanding why when you charge certain rates, it's actually not just for the business owner or the, the person charging. It's not just for their benefit. It's also oftentimes for the person who's paying. It's for their benefit because when you pay more money, you're more invested into something. You'll actually take action on it because you have skin in the game. When you get something for free or just a couple bucks, you don't always even really fully commit yourself to it. And it might be the same thing with whatever healing work you're doing. If you charge rock bottom for it or dirt cheap prices, or you don't charge at all, some people might get the benefits of it, but a lot of people, especially if it's something that's going to force them to change, like changing their lifestyle or their habits, uh, that is going to, people aren't necessarily going to be motivated to change because they don't have anything, any skin in the game, right? So if you really want to help people, sometimes you do have to charge. You have to charge for it. You have, and it's also helpful for you to be compensated because then you can reach and help more people, right? <sighs> Bountiful Blessings. This is from our Wealthy Woman Oracle deck and Abundant Expansion. These are beautiful cards, deck two. Okay, so uh, what I'm seeing here with our last cards is this million dollar idea you're going to get, right? We've already been pretty clear. It's going to be around healing of some sort, um, whether directly or indirectly, but involves something that helps people heal. You're going to get a lot of this idea from through the avenue of a mentor of some sort. In order to fully get it, you have to shift your money mindset around getting compensated for healing work for whatever it is you want to do uh, and believe that it's of the benefit for you and for your clients, for you to be compensated well for what you do, uh, or your whoever is purchasing this, right? Uh, maybe it's also just like for in, in your company, whatever kind of way you're helping people heal there, you know, uh, how it'll help the company then for you to be well compensated. So those are the things so far. All of this, this million dollar deal that's going to come in, it's, it's happening to help you help other people, but this is also something that's ha happening to help you expand. And to help you, again, because it requires you to shift your money mindset, to help you get out of your own way. This is something that is going to help you expand. And once you get this mindset shift out of the way, the download's going to come in. It's going to come through a mentor. And it's going to be so easy for you. And then all you're going to have to do is take the bold step because everything is going to be so lined up for you. Everything is going to be so lined up for you, Duck 2. As soon as you release the story of... I can't charge or I can't charge that much or whatever it is. As soon as you release that, you shift it. Which again, if you want support, come come work with us inside of the, the Wealth 5 membership on this. But this is like, once you release this, everything is going to line up for you. The million dollar idea, everything you need to execute it is going to be so easy for you to find or to get to. It's not going to be that hard. It's going to feel very seamless for you. But you have to actually take that step and do it. And this is, ooh, this is why I was getting witch wound earlier. Some of you might be afraid to do this thing, to be afraid to be seen as a healer, to be afraid to be seen as someone who's charging, right? To be afraid of what people are going to think um, or just afraid of failing, right? Afraid of taking that step or going after this vision, this idea and failing. And the universe is like, I've got you, but you have to, I can't make you move. You have to take the first step. You have to take the step. I'm going to line everything up for you. I'm going to give you so many signs. I'm getting that you're going to get a lot of signs that like everything is lined up. This is the next right step for you. This is the aligned action. This is the thing that'll get you to that abundance and to that personal fulfillment that you're looking for and to that next level of it. Everything's going to be lined up. You're going to have a million signs telling you to go for it, but you actually have to take the leap. And if you don't take the leap, if you don't step into this, if you don't take the bold step into it, you won't expand. And this idea I'm getting will eventually pass on to somebody else. And what I mean by that is, uh, I think this was introduced in, what, Elizabeth Gilbert's Big Magic book, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. I read that book like four or five years ago. Um, where I think she says, and I think I've, I've read this in other places too, right, where this concept of when you have some sort of idea or download or ins inspiration or innovation, 
those things have a shelf life. So if you sit with it and you don't act on it, once everything's been lined up for you, you have this million dollar idea. If you just sit on it and don't act on it, eventually that idea is going to be delivered to somebody else. The universe will give that download to somebody else who will actually act on it. So you have your shot. I don't get the sense this is like, you got to figure it out and do it right now, but you'll have like a couple weeks or months. I'm getting months for you, two, three to four months after you get this million dollar, million dollar idea download when it's yours. It's just yours. And if you act on it, it will take you amazing places. It will expand you. You will be able to help people. You will jump into that next level of abundance with a relative ease and a feeling of purpose and calm. But if you don't take that leap, deck two, if you don't take that step, none of that will happen. And the universe is like, this idea needs to be birthed into the world. I will go give it then to somebody else if you aren't willing to take the step. So the universe is saying, I'm going to be delivering an amazing idea to you really soon, as soon as you get out of your own way of shifting your, your mindset around being compensated for the amazing work you do. As soon as you do that and you see get some mentorship or, you know, pay attention to your mentors and think about how you want to heal, like it's going to click in your place. Everything's going to line up, but you got to take that step because this needs to be birthed into the world. People need this. And if you don't take the step, I'm going to give it to somebody who will. So this is your shot. The universe is saying with a lot of love, but also like not messing around. <laughs> okay, Dr. Who said some really cool stuff. It's really beautiful that you're going to be chosen kind of by the universe, by source, by God to, to kind of go on this mission to help people heal in this really okay, beautiful, grounded, peaceful way. Uh, but if you don't act on it, that that inspiration, that idea, that motivation, that drive, that's going to be given to somebody else because it needs to get into the world. So you get to choose. Do you want to be the one to shepherd this into the world? Right. Uh, it's all right if the answer is no, but you make that choice is what I'm getting. Make that choice before the choice is made for you because you sat on it for too long. Okay. I'm getting that uh, what could happen is if you sit on it too long and go, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it, or I don't know, I don't know, but you keep putting it off or you don't ever really decide to go all in, you don't take action, you don't start actually taking the steps to actually get this thing out into the world, this idea to bring it into reality, you will either kind of lose the drive and the motivation or you will be like, yeah, I'll do it one day and then you see someone else do that exact same thing and you're like, oh my God, I waited too long. <laughs> and I don't want that to be you, deck two. So make sure you you act on it. All right, deck two, that's it. This is this is a really cool reading. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below letting me know what you took from it and how it resonated. I always love getting to hear your comments and I so appreciate them on these videos. They really mean a lot to me. Uh, you are also welcome, if you're not already, to subscribe to my channel for future card readings for abundance. And if you want to come join me inside the Wealth by Membership so you can get access to all the resources, support, and community you need to actually manifest the wealth you desire, uh, I would love to get to connect with you in the membership. The link for that and the link to pre-order uh, the Wealthy Women Oracle deck are both in the description and the pinned comment below. So with all of that being said, I am wishing you massive prosperity and abundance, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye! Hello, deck number three. Let's dive into your reading to uncover what guidance the universe has to help you unlock your next million dollar idea and step into that next level of abundance. So we're gonna dive right in today. We'll move your crystal out of the way and just start shuffling. It's a beautiful deck I've had for a long time. I don't think I've ever used it on this channel. So I'm gonna dive in today and see what guidance I wanna get. I wanna get four cards at least for Deck number three of what you can do to unlock that million dollar idea. I want maybe even just general clues as to what that idea might be. Your cards there. Let's see what else. I'm getting the guidance that you already kind of feel like um, million dollar ideas that may be necessarily fully available to you. Like it's like there, you, you kind of believe there is, but there's a part of you that doesn't. The universe is saying it is, and it can be that easy, but you have to open yourself up to it. Deck three. All right, let's see what we have. All right, my loves, we have the seven of coins, we have four of swords reversed, we have the lovers, and we have strength. Okay. Hmm. All right, deck three. What I'm seeing is uh, this million dollar idea. I'm seeing a little bit of 
guidance around how it might come through, a little bit of how it's gonna play out for you. What's coming up for me first, especially with these right here, is I'm seeing that there's, um, I remember when I was just shuffling and I said, you know, there's that part of you that believes that, like, yeah, maybe I could do a million dollar idea, but it's gonna be a lot of hard work, or it can't be that easy, or, you know, are there really million dollar ideas, or do I just have to, like, really work hard toward the money I want, or anything like that? Uh, that line of thinking and just the kind of chronic work or hustle mentality or s stress, whatever's creating that stress, especially around like trying to make something happen, especially around money, uh, it's keeping the idea, this million dollar idea that the universe is like ready to offer to you, it is keeping it at arm's length. It's keeping it from fully being, from you being able to download it. That's really what it is. You are blocking yourself right now from downloading this million dollar idea that's waiting for you uh, because you are trying almost, you're like trying to make it happen too hard or you're trying to make something else happen too hard around money and you're just around money, success, whatever it is in that realm. And you are trying to make something happen so hard that you are not allowing the universe any space to actually let it in. Okay. So the universe is saying, in order for you to get this beautiful, amazing, juicy idea that I have for you that can lead to so much wealth and so much success and so much of everything that you're searching for, you have to release the control a little bit. You have to release the control. You have to relax a little bit, <laughs> all right? You have to relax a little bit. And when you do that, then it'll come through. It's waiting to come through. You're just not able to receive it. You're not able to hear it because your your mind's too busy is when your mind is too busy with trying to make the money happen trying to think of the million dollar idea it's like just let it come to you right uh, i'm getting like in times of quiet meditation things like that and creating a practice something that allows you to relax each day taking time to just relax every day can create such inspiration i just saw 222 for you so perfect confirmation it'll create so much spaciousness within you to make space for this idea to drop in, for this idea to land, okay? Um, now, when this idea comes, like, and I get the sense you're a very hard worker, deck three. You're a very hard worker. You, even if you don't consider yourself that way, I can see maybe perfectionism, overachiever, uh, all of like the, the beautiful good things about that, but you've maybe been taking them to the extreme, right? There's a lot of here. But the, the good news is that as soon as this, this idea drops in, it's like, with the strength and seven of coins, you are going to, it's going to be something that it's like, you are made for this. You just take off. Like you will hit the ground running. As soon as you get this download, it's like, there will be no hesitation on your part. You will just be able to act on it. It's going to be so powerful. Uh, you're just going to hit the ground running. Whereas most people would maybe get an idea and be like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. And they'd hem and haw and kind of put it off. Like you are going to get this idea and you're just like, got it. Thank you universe. I relaxed enough. I got the idea and you're just gonna run with it. And it is going to be relatively easy for you. I do see with this lover's card, you could have the idea come through a partner, a love interest. It could also be through a close friend, something like that. I'm getting a little bit more of that. Uh, what's gonna help you succeed with whatever, with bringing whatever idea, and we're gonna get more clarity on what this idea might look like for you, what this, like kind of the arena to be looking in for this million dollar idea as we draw more cards, but whenever this idea drops in, whenever you relax and the idea downloads, and you're like, I'm gonna hit the ground running. Again, it could come through someone you're close to, this idea. They could offer it to you or inspire it in you. But I think for most of you, what I'm getting, yeah, what I'm getting from my guides is that uh, you're gonna have some sort of partner who on this journey. It could be a romantic partner who's also helping you bring your vision that you have to life. I'm getting the sense that it's more of possibly a business partner or someone like even a coworker who has the same mission that you're on at work, right? So there's going to be someone who's helping you on this journey who you're very close to. Uh, either you know them now or you will know them because of this download you have and because you're embarking on it and because you're like, I'm going and they might get on board with you and be like, oh, I want to help you. I want to be in on this. You might meet them or get closer to them because of this download you have and create this really beautiful partnership. I'm getting, again, like, could be, like, your romantic partner gets on board with this and helps you out or you meet this person you think is a business partner and they end up being your life partner. Could be any of that stuff. I can see a lot of um, intertwinement there. But 
really the, the important thing is you're not going to be alone on executing this million dollar idea. And this is, oh, this is beautiful. The universe is saying, I'm going to send someone to help you execute. Relax. You'll get a download. You're going to have what it takes to make it happen and you'll know it and you'll just run with it. But I'm going to send someone to help you so that you don't overwork again and burn out and you don't think you have to do it all alone. I'm going to send someone to help you with it. So be open to that and be looking for that. Um, of course, use discernment. Make sure it's the right person. Make sure you it's someone you feel aligned with, right? Um, but the important thing is that the universe is saying, please let someone else help you with this. I'm going to send the perfect person to help you execute on this idea once you have it. Even if you, I'm getting, you might start off alone, but be looking for a partner in it, a business partner, a coworker, someone who's on the same wavelength as you with whatever you're doing. So we're going to get some more cards because I want to get a little bit more guidance for you about like what, what does this million dollar idea actually look like? What arena is it in? Any hints to what it might be? Anything like that? We have get out of your comfort zone. It's something that is maybe something you haven't done before. So <laughs> this could be a side hustle you start outside of your business, or it could be a different kind of business or niche than what you're in if you have a business. Um, it could be you switch careers. So I'm getting that this is gonna be something out of your comfort zone. Oh my gosh, yes, um, Malachite, it's time to transform. So this is kind of setting you on a totally different path, and I'm getting that you can't, <laughs> if you think you know what it is, you don't right now, is what I'm getting. Um, the universe is saying that this is going to happen to really, uh, to really get you to, oh, yep, here we go, to go open the door for you to go deeper, okay? Um, I want more guidance. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull a little bit from another deck. Give me one second, I'm gonna pull from another deck I wasn't planning on using. Okay, I have a, another deck here that I'm gonna pull for <laughs> from you uh, because I want, I'm, I'm being guided to a different one to get more guidance on what the actual, like, what's the idea? Like, what's the million dollar idea? I wanna give you some guidance of like where to start looking. But the universe is saying, this idea is going to take you down a totally different path. It's going to open a door for you to transform, to go deeper, to get out of your comfort comfort zone. This is a pivotal moment in your life. Um, and the, the gateway to it is by relaxing, to not trying to make it happen, to just really surrendering um, and seeing what comes up, what signs come to you, what, uh, what the universe inspires in you, what ideas drop in, what other people come into your life, what opportunities present, like just surrender and you'll know it when you hear it. And as soon as you hear it, you're like, that's it, that's a million idea, dollar idea and you're gonna run with it. But it's gonna be something very different from what you're doing right now or what you thought you would maybe do to, to call in a lot of money, okay? Or a lot of wealth or, or success. So, um, this is something like be looking in unlikely places and unlikely industries and just be open. They were saying, keep yourself open. Okay. Keep yourself open to it looking very different than you maybe thought it was going to look like to just having to getting completely out of your comfort zone, doing something totally different. I could even see you going back to school to learn some stuff or specialized training to be able to execute on this idea when it lands. I want some guidance now for deck three on what's, what are some hints as to what this million dollar idea is for them? We have the turtle and coriander satisfaction. Some more guidance for you. We have the snail and huckabilly, trust in the invisible. The universe is really trying to point you to be like, trust me, trust me, surrender, trust me. It's gonna come, don't worry about it. Um, oh my God, metamorphosis. Like I keep pulling more and more cards and they're all pointing to the same thing is like, slow down, relax. It's time to transform. It's time to metamorphosize. It's time for you to get on a completely different track. And it almost feels like the universe doesn't want to tell you what it is because it wants you to trust. It wants you to trust. I personally don't like that for this reading. <laughs> and I want actual things I can tell you of Hey, look, because the other decks so far, we've been like, look in this arena, or you're going to help people in this way. And this is what the idea is going to be around. I want, I want guidance for you. But let me, let me look here. Because there's a lot of like, again, we have these slow moving animals of slowing down. Slowing down so that you can take a leap, so that you can transform. There's a lot of like, again, I guess, <laughs> I guess the universe is like, we can't give you the idea. We can't tell you what it's going to be deck three because... 
because if we tell you you won't slow down, you're just gonna go for it. Whoa. Oh, my protector guy just stepped forward and he was like, yep, this is to protect them. This is to protect you. Me, as Taylor, the reader, does not like this <laughs> because I like being able to deliver on my prompts and what I say I'm going to help you unlock. Um, but every card I am pulling is literally just telling you to like, look, we have introspection, inspiration, like there are cards in here about creativity, about ingenuity, about healing, about things like that, like anything that can point us toward that, but I'm getting none of those coming up for you. <sighs> because the universe truly wants you to slow down before it can deliver this idea to you. It's, it's saying you're not ready until you slow down. Like everything else, you are, you're ready and you're hungry for it. But until you slow down and relax and look within, the inspiration's not going to come. The idea is not going to come. It's like you have to be, it's almost like this is, I hate to use this word, but this is a test from the universe right now, deck three. It's like this is a test from the universe because it's saying if you want this next level this bad, if you want this next level of wealth, this next level of success, this next level of abundance, this next level of your career, of your life, of your purpose, whatever it is that you're seeking, if you want this next level and you keep saying, I'll do anything to do it, I'll do anything to get there, what's the one thing you haven't been doing? You haven't been actually releasing, actually surrendering, actually relaxing, allowing it to come. And you've been trying to make it happen so hard that you're trying to prove that you, you, you'll you do it, prove to yourself, prove to the universe, prove to your employer, prove to your audience, your clients, whatever it is. You've been trying so hard to prove that you'll do it oh my gosh, deck three, that, that like, that's the thing you're missing. It's like the universe is like, I, all I need you to prove to me that you'll be ready for this is that, is that you're willing to go at a sustainable pace. You're willing to slow down and you're willing to let me, the universe and others help you because what you are about to embark on is going to be something that you need to be able to sustain. Ooh you're gonna to have to be able to sustain it because it's gonna be a big transformation. This is gonna be something that is gonna take place over years, maybe even decades for you. This is a very big thing that you're building, uh, a big idea that you have. I don't necessarily get that it's your life's work. It could be, um, it could be part of your life's work, but it's something that it's gonna be this involved project. Um, again, I don't know that it'll take up all of your time. It might not be your main focus for a while as you're start getting started on it, but it's something that it's gonna, it's, it's, it's not a small idea that's just going to like blow up and get lucky and get you money overnight. This is something that is going to, you're going to pour a lot of yourself into the universe is saying you have to be able to have that balance and be able to sustain this marathon. Cause this is a marathon, not a sprint, but you're acting with your energy and how much you're trying to control and how hard you're working and not slowing down of trying to figure it out and figure out how to get to that next level. You're acting like it's a sprint and I need you to treat this like a marathon Oh, I'm getting another download for you. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay. The reason <laughs> it's, it's the same, it's a different side of the same coin. The reason that you have to prove that you're willing to slow down and surrender a little bit and relax and be supported by the universe and by others and allow things to come to you rather than always going out and chasing them. Deck three is because that's what you're going to help other people do. This is what the million dollar idea is going to be around. You're going to, in your own journey to learning how to relax, how to slow down, how to release the illusion of control, how to stop trying to force things to happen. In your own journey and quest to do that, you are going to learn something that is going to blow your mind, completely transform your life. We have all that transformation, right? It's going to completely transform your life. And you are going to learn something that, something from that, that you are going to be like, I ha this is it, this is the idea. I have to share what I've now learned with others because it's going to help them because I, I can see how much it's just helped me. And it's you're going to inspire others. You're going to help other people find balance. You're going to help them look within, go deeper into themselves. You're going to help them transform. You're going to help them do everything that you're about to go through. So what's about to happen for you? As soon as you claim this, if this reading is resonating with you, the universe is saying, then claim it, decide, okay, I'll release control a little bit. This doesn't mean, you know, you stop making any money or you stop trying anything. It just means 
mentally stop trying to make it happen. Be open to it happening for you, to it coming to you. As you release that and you relax, you're going to undergo a transformation in shifting gears from always trying to make the money happen to now allowing it to happen or to come into your life. As you shift those gears, you will undergo some sort of transformation in order, because when you have to, if you've been being in hustle mode your whole life or for years or a long time, uh, when you change you, that will change you. When you change your habits, you change yourself. When you change yourself, you change your habits. It's all connected. And so as you change your habits, you will change in order to be able to sustain this change of habits and to have a sustainable pace. You will have to change, right? It's all cyclical. So as you change and you transform into somebody who's a little more surrendered, a little bit more open to receive rather than to force something to happen, you're going to have this wild transformation that happens and you're going to have these amazing insights. You're going to learn something. It could be a skill. It could be an, a technique. It could be, uh, again, it might be, like I said, I see you going potentially back to school or continuing education or learning something, getting certified in something, taking a program, an online course, like something. You're going to learn something new and that's going to unlock this idea within you. And you're going to be like, oh, I need to share this with everyone. And you're going to become a teacher of that, a master of that. You're going to inspire other people with it. And you're going to help them do the same thing you just did, which was learn how to slow down in this high-paced world so that you can go deeper into who you are and actually receive with more ease. I would not be surprised if you end up actually teaching something like manifestation. Or maybe it's, you know, work-life balance. Or maybe it's actually, you know, helping people have better health or better sleep by actually having better balance in their life and slowing down a little bit. It can be something along those lines or something else that you learn. But whatever the medicine is that you need and that you find and that you learn in your slowing down that helps you to slow down a little bit and surrender and receive is what you're then going to share others. And the universe is saying, I need you to learn this for yourself so you can see the power of it. And then you're gonna be able to bring it to other people in an innovative way, in a different way, in a way they really need it, and in a way that speaks to them because you're gonna inspire people with your own story, with your own transformation. You're going to find so much fulfillment in it, so much satisfaction in it. You're gonna go so much deeper into yourself. This will get you out of your comfort zone, all of that sort of stuff we've talked about here. This is really cool. <laughs> this is very different from the other decks we've done so far in this reading. Um, but I want some last cards for you here on what you need to do to make money with this idea once it lands. Okay. And I know that this can be a little bit nebulous. Okay. This, what I'm saying right here, I, I know what we're covering here in this, in your reading particularly is like, it's very circular. Uh, but the universe is like, that's not by mistake. <laughs> this is, you are at a point, an initiation point is what I'm getting. You're at an initiation point in your life where you're ready to be initiated into your next level of wealth, of spiritual development, of, um, satisfaction, of fulfillment, possibly of love too, right? Of being supported, of letting other people in to support you, especially where money or success or relaxation and well-being is concerned. So, uh, you are at this initiation point. And so everything's kind of feeding in on itself. Oh my God, even, I'm gonna grab the back of this, the tarot deck you picked, I'm just right now realizing. If you can see it, it has Ouroboros on it, right? It's the snake eating itself. It's this circular, unending thing. That's, that's where you're at right now. <laughs> this is perfect alignment. This is where you're at right now. And look at all these circles we're seeing here. Um, you're going through a new cycle. You're starting, the wheels turning over again and everything's feeding into itself right now and you have to just go through the process in order to get the idea that you're then going to share with others that helped you right um yeah oh my gosh we're gonna pull some more from the wealthy woman oracle deck i haven't even talked about that card i just pulled yet that cosmic celebration card but that's a very positive card to see here for how you have to make money of course sacred stillness <laughs> Uh, the universe is again just doubling down on like start a meditation practice be still Everything you want is going to come to you the moment you start slowing down and actually releasing control and surrendering. Um, everything you want gets to start pouring in. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just doubling down. It's, the message is loud and clear for you. Deck three, slow down. This is probably something I need to hear as well. From time to time, I have a tendency to go fast. Um, 
<laughs> it's like Ricky Bobby. If you're not first, you're last. There's no first and last, the universe is saying. There's no first and last. The race you're running is against yourself. So if you slow down, there's you can actually slow down to speed up. Again, that's coming through. So um, don't worry about what other people are thinking, right? This message that's coming through here. This cosmic celebration. Uh, gratitude. Celebrating the little wins. Celebrating, making, like, seeing, slowing down as as a win is going to be so important for you to make money. This might even be how you position whatever this million dollar idea is, whether it's to, I can even see you like introducing an idea in your company to restructure the way employees take their breaks or the something to help them revitalize themselves. And then that leads to a promotion. And then all of a sudden now you're head of, you know, employee relations and company culture at your company. Like it's, there's something just so out there and out of left field that you can't even imagine that's coming uh, that you're going to find and be inspired by through this and go on this whole big adventure with and project with. And so the universe is saying um, part of how you will find a way to make money with this and I'm getting how you'll pitch this, how you'll present it to others is that and this is like this is just me channeling marketing now for you <laughs> is when you have this idea. This is such a bizarre reading, but in the best way. Uh, when you have this idea that comes through, once you have that, once you relax and this idea drops in, and you start running toward it and someone starts helping you with it, what you want to make sure you're doing is you want to make sure you are celebrating slowing down. Because when you think about it, in our fast-paced world, being able to slow down is a skill that we are not taught. And it is something that we are sorely missing. And it is hurting us in so many ways to not slow down and to always be on, 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 go, 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 learn more, learn more, be more, be more, achieve more, achieve more. It's going to be so important for you to view your ability to slow down as something worthy of celebration. It's not just you taking a break so you can move faster. It is in and of itself a goal and something to be celebrated. You can also use what I just said right there as the base of a marketing angle <laughs> to make relaxation, rest, balance, whatever idea you have to make it the new goal instead of always being busy always being in control, always forcing, always pushing, always achieving, always growing, always blah, 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 blah. When you can position it that way, it's like people want to be perceived as leading edge and as the winner and as the person who's with it, right? Uh, that's a, a marketing angle for you. Of course, you have to adapt that to whatever your uh, idea is, but I don't know that Source has ever had me channel in a reading like this. I do it for private clients. Uh, never had me channel <laughs> a marketing angle uh and our last card here is the alchemist card which is very fitting for you the alchemist card in the wealthy woman oracle deck is all about taking your past experiences and transforming them transmuting them alchemizing them into wealth into something you get to be paid for so which is ultimately what's going to happen here you're going to go undergo your own metamorphosis your own your own discovery around finding balance and then you're going to take what you just went through and turn it into a business, a million dollar idea, a, an innovation, a, an app, a, a, a product, something, right? Uh, a service. And you're going to, you're going to turn right around and do use exactly what you just learned to help so many other people. So that's pretty cool. Deck three, this was a wild reading. Very different from a lot of the ones I've done recently. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you go relax and start prioritizing, slowing down. And, and even if you like take time to relax, are you actually mentally relaxing? I think I will link above here for you my um, receiving mode playlist. Uh, and again, this is something we've done in the Wealth Vibe membership and that we have some resources around in there if you want to come join us there and, and get into that area. But uh, I'll link the playlist above for the receiving mode so that you can kind of start to understand what I mean when I say uh, if you're always mentally working on something, even if you're physically relaxing, you're still not relaxing. You're still working, right? The universe is saying you have to mentally and physically relax, then everything is lining up and it'll all drop into place. It'll take you on this inner transformation that you then turn around and alchemize into a million dollar idea uh, for helping other people do exactly the same thing and finding more of that balance and stillness and uh, 
transformation in their own life. So, whew, yeah. All right, deck three. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below letting me know what you took from it, how it resonated. I always love getting to hear your thoughts on these readings. It means so much to me when you comment. It truly does. Uh, you are also welcome, if you're not already, to subscribe to my channel for future card readings for abundance. And of course, if you want to come join me inside the Wealth5 membership so you can get access to all the resources, support, and community you need to relax and surrender and receive wealth, but also to just manifest in general the wealth you desire, I would love to get to connect with you there. The link for the Wealth5 membership and to pre-order your own copy of the Wealthy Woman Oracle deck are both in the description below and in the pinned comment. So with all that being said, I'm wishing you massive prosperity, abundance, relaxation, inner transformation, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye. Hello, deck number four. Let's dive into your reading to uncover what guidance the universe has to help you unlock your next million dollar idea and step into that next level of abundance. We're going to dive right in. We're going to move this crystal out of the way. Move your crystal out of the way. And we're going to start shuffling. Let's see. I want to get four cards, at least four cards to start us off to tell us a little bit about what you can do to unlock and download this the, the specifics of this million dollar idea maybe even give us some hints as to what this idea actually is we'll of course be pulling more cards later to get even clearer on that but i want some guidance on deck for what they need to hear to unlock their million dollar idea mm -hmm. interesting at least one more card for you Hmm. I'll take three of swords. All right, let's see what we have, my loves. Most of these popped right out for you. All right, so we had the Queen of Cups and the Devil that popped out first, these two cards here. We also have our three of swords that popped out, and we had the two of coins come up. So, my loves, I don't know why some of my cards are warped here. It makes me sad because this is like my favorite tarot deck that I own personally. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing with these cards, my loves, is, uh, all right, so there's a heavy energy here, but here's the thing. It's not about you because you've already moved through something very heavy in your life, something, some very heaviness. You're very good at holding heavy energy. You're good at uh, transmuting heavy energy. You're good at helping people move through energy. Your million dollar idea is going to be something that, wow, that uh, helps people really move through and transmute and transform very difficult, deep things. I, you could be some sort of therapist, psychologist. It could be uh, something around uh, grief is a lot of what I'm getting, especially with our three of swords and the devil and kind of like your loss of identity, your loss of sense of self. Uh, you're very, you're very good at helping people with these things and move through these things in one way or another, whether directly or indirectly. Right. Um, but you're going to have some sort of million dollar idea that, that helps people move through very heavy things. I'm getting, especially around grief, around loss and the identity loss. It could be loss of loved ones, loss of things in your life, uh, lots of health, things like that. But it could also just be that loss of your sense of self. I'm getting that your million dollar idea is going to help people reclaim their sense of self is what it's going to be. Um, you're going to help people reclaim their sense of self after going through something very difficult where they lost their sense of self, something very heavy. You're going to help them move through the heaviness and you're going to help them reclaim their sense of self. Now, this could be something you do directly, right? Like I said, therapist, uh, coach, healer of some sort. It also, though, could be something that you do that that's almost kind of a byproduct of it, or um, it just is something that naturally, like, you do. You have this idea that helps people do this, but it's it's not, like, the main focus of it. But at the end of the day, it's, like, actually what they're taking away from it deeper down. So this could be, like, art, music that you create that just helps people truly heal and find themselves again. I just saw 222. I saw that earlier in another deck, and I'm seeing it for you as well, so there's some confirmation. Uh, so it could be something very creative, like that's something art 
music, something creative that helps people to rediscover themselves and who they truly are. To, I'm getting to like reforge who they are. And now I'm getting that this idea is something for you. The universe is presenting this idea that's about to come in. I think some of you might have already kind of know what this million dollar idea is, but you've been shying away from it. I'm getting that most of you have yet to really be aware of what this million dollar idea is, but it's coming and the universe is going to present it to you. Um, we're going to get a little bit into in a minute with these two cards, what you need to do to be able to actually see this idea and then move on it. But what's happening is like you, the reason the universe is bringing this million dollar idea to you specifically deck four is because you have been through something or some things where you have been through that dark night of the soul. You have been through some sort of loss and especially something that resulted in a loss of your sense of self or who you thought you were or what you thought your life was going to be like. And you have had to rebuild yourself and reforge yourself from that place. And you're now in a place or moving toward a place in your life where you have much more of that sense of who you are. And maybe you're still on that journey, but you've moved through so much already. The universe is saying, if you feel like you haven't, start looking back and giving yourself credit for how far you've come. Because that's really important for you. Until you do that, you won't be able to get this download, this idea. Uh, that's going to lead to that next level of helping people and your next level of abundance. So you are, this is being presented to you, deck four, because you have you've been through what you needed to be th to have gone through to understand what the people who you're going to help have, are going through. The universe is saying now, in order for you to re fully receive this, this million dollar idea, which we'll get some more clarity on as well in a little bit here with some other cards, but in order for you to truly get clarity on this, on what this million dollar idea is to, to receive it, there's two things that need to happen. First of all, to receive it, you have to own how much wisdom and how much compassion and empathy you have and how important those things are and how that qualifies you to help other people. Even if you don't know what the million dollar idea is yet, even if this has nothing to do with what you currently do for work or anything like that, um, the universe is saying, I need you to understand how far you have come in life and in moving through very heavy things and coming out stronger and more fulfilled from it. I need you to understand that and recognize that within yourself and value it within yourself. And once you do that, you're going to, in, in doing that work, in really looking at all the wisdom and all of the soft skills that come so easily to you, like compassion and nurturingness and like really compassionate energy and your ability to maybe listen to others, your ability to know what to say to help somebody come home to themselves. Like you need to value those things and in valuing those things and really taking stock of those things consciously, like journaling on those things, sitting with those things deck for, you were just saying you will then, that's when the idea will appear. I see you very clearly. If you don't like journaling, you could speak this out on a voice note or something like that, but I could see you journaling on what, qualifies me to help other people move through heavy things or even just journaling on how far have I come in life and what has helped me come this far. I can see you journaling out pages on this and just letting that out and really honoring yourself and giving yourself value for what you've been through in life and how far you've come and how amazingly you've come out through the fire transformed into just like this amazing phoenix and you've risen from the ashes. The universe is saying in valuing that, doing that work, writing that down, you are going to have that download as you're writing or as you're reflecting on this. And it might take a couple journaling sessions, right? But like as you're doing this and sitting with this and truly loving yourself and valuing how far you've come and what you've learned and all your wisdom and all the skills and gifts you have, you're going to have that download of that million dollar idea. And it's going to be something that helps other people come home to them, to themselves, come home, reforge themselves, rebirth themselves into who they want to be moving forward from, from trauma or from grief or from just not knowing who they are anymore. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to take a moment to, to just say on a personal note, this is not 
I'm, I'm getting the guidance to share this with you, but this is this is not me channeling this guidance. This is just from my perspective personally. This is something I needed and I didn't know I needed uh, like two years ago. <laughs> After, during my pregnancy and postpartum, I very much lost my sense of identity. Uh, and it's a whole story of like, I had the self-concept I'd built up that served me well. And then it was kind of shattered by the way my pregnancy went and all these things that I didn't realize until just the last several months or year. And uh, I needed someone to help me come back home to myself and do this identity work and figure out who I wanted to be and who I wanted to reforge myself into being after going through some really difficult things uh, that were not at all how I expected parts of my life to look like. And that changed me forever. And I needed someone to do that sort of work in some way or another. It could have been like professionally or it might have just been, you know, through finding the right book that was written, even if it was a fiction book and reading it and finding that meaning and that reflection of myself in it. Like I needed something like that for so long and I didn't come across it. Uh, I think part of that was my own journey I was on to need to do my own inner work and heal. That's part of kind of my life path. But uh, that I think would have very much helped me when I needed it. And I'm saying this, I'm so raw and uh, I'm like tearing up, but it's like, I see the beauty and I'm being shown the beauty in what impact you are capable of making and helping other people with. And you can be massively compensated for it and be compensated for it in a way that feels very in integrity and in alignment with you, right? I get there might be some hesitation that we talked about, I think, in deck two. So if you feel drawn to that, you could go rewatch that. But there was some of that kind of like as a healer or someone who's helping people I can't charge, that's unethical. Um, but I can tell you that sometimes when you need to do that deep inner healing work, if you don't have skin in the game, you will not actually change, right? Like sometimes it actually benefits your clients to be charged. Not It doesn't have to be exorbitant rates, but a fair amount of money so that you can be compensated to show up fully and do this work with people, whatever it is, or to produce this work for people, this art, this book, this music, or to offer some sort of coaching or therapy or whatever it is. Like you will have an idea of a way you can help people and you need to make sure you're getting paid for it because it's going to help you when you can be paid. You can help people more fully. You can be more present because you're not worried about paying your bills or having to go run off to your job or your second thing because you got to do that thing, right? But also, it helps the people who are healing, who are shifting, who are coming home to themselves to actually push through the uncomfortableness of having to go through ego death after ego death after ego death, which is the scariest thing to our minds, right? Um and completely shifting who they think they are. That's the, one of the hardest things for us to do in this lifetime. So making sure people are committed to that and are actually going to keep showing up because they've paid for it, that can, that can, t money can be a tool to help people leverage that. This, you know, you can of course do some pro bono work. You can do free work, all that sort of stuff and help people who can't afford it, who need the help, but also like know that sometimes charging it for what you do and for helping people is not necessarily selfish. Sometimes it's of the highest good for everyone. So just saying that, it's my personal little kind of ramble and note for you. But you have to own the value you have, right? As you do that, you will get this download. And by the way, if you want help owning the value of who you are and what you do and what you've been through and why that's a value to other people and can lead to more abundance for you and for them in all senses of the word, come join me inside the Wealth Five membership if you want support with that because that's part of what we're doing in this month's uh, challenge and what we do all the time. It's one of my core tenets I teach is the sense of value in what you bring to the table um, on a very innate level. But this is something we're going deep into unlocking um, this month when this posts, right? And we do a lot of throughout the time. So if you want to come join me in there and get support from me and others to own this uh, and unlock your million dollar idea in that way uh, by doing that deep work, link is below in the description pin comments. Now, the universe is also telling me with this two coins. Here's the thing. You're going to have this million dollar idea as you start to value what you bring to the table in terms of being able to help people. And you're going to have this million dollar idea, but you're going to have to make a choice. The universe says, if you don't have to pursue this path, if you don't want to, deck four. It's part of 
kind of why your soul came here, but there will be other ways and opportunities for you to fulfill this kind of like karma or soul contract or, you know, life's purpose down the road. So if you do not feel like you want to or are ready to act on this million dollar idea you get around helping people transform through that tr identity loss and then finding themselves again, if you feel like you're like, that doesn't sound good to me, I don't like this idea, or I don't feel like I'm ready to do this personally, like I can't hold that space for others, um, that's okay. But the universe is saying you have to make that choice. Uh, and you can't choose wrong, but it's just the choice, right? It's, it's like, do you want to go down this path or not? And if the answer is no or not right now, that's okay. But once you have this idea, you get to sit with it and you get to decide do I actually want to pursue this or not? For other people, sometimes and for some of the other decks, it's like as soon as they hear the idea, they're like, I'm running with it and I go and there's almost no choice in their mind. You always have choice, but like this is very much going to be something that the universe really wants you to weigh, wants you to think about, wants you to think of like, do I really want to go down this path? Do I want to monetize this thing? Do I want to create this offer or the, write this book or this music? Because um, it might be, it'll be heavy for you. You're very good and well-equipped to hold that heavy energy, but it'll bring up things within you, right? It'll be your own healing in a way and on a deeper level. Uh, so the universe is saying, do you want this? Like the universe is going to help you access this idea as you, long as you meet it part way by really looking at what you value about yourself. But then you're going to have to, once you have this idea in your possession, you're going to have to sit with it and decide whether you actually want to act on it or not. Uh, because it's going to, it'll shape your life, right? This is a big decision. This is a big kind of path to go down, but it's, it's so needed and it's so worthy, but also no one would fault you, the universe included. <laughs> or myself or your guides if you didn't choose to take this path because it's of all of these four decks this is very much like I said the heaviest one but the like the only one that's bringing tears to my eyes with how beautiful and needed this work is all of the work all of the things that we talked about in all of the decks has been so needed all of the kind of general arenas of the different million dollar ideas but this one deck four is like it's it's a lot to hold but it's a lot to offer too and you're capable of it, but do you want it, right? That's what the universe is saying. So let's get some more guidance. I think we have a lot of kind of clarity for you in terms of like the arena of <laughs> what your million dollar idea is. Um, what can you do? What else does this deck four need to know about this million dollar idea, about helping people move this deep energy? In a way, I'm feeling almost like this reading is nearly complete, which is crazy because I plan on pulling a lot more cards for you, but I feel like this is already a lot. Yeah. Um, we're not fully complete, but we're getting there. We're getting there, deck four. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a minute here. I'm going to... I'm being guided to do something I don't think I've ever been guided to do on one of these calls before. I'm just going to sit here with you in silence for a few seconds while I just want you to move through or, or process whatever's coming up for you, if anything's coming up, or just allow whatever needs to come up based on what we just talked about, because there was a lot here. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to be holding this space with you for just, just a little bit, okay? Okay, um, whatever came up, right? Like, just sit with it. If you need more time, you can pause the video, but I wanted, I, I, I had some intention in my energy there to help you um, transmute or acknowledge whatever was coming up and to find the beauty in it or feel something and click in a different way you had before. So, okay, now that we've done that, now the guidance wants to come through. Okay, <laughs> bloodstone, get up, get moving. Ooh, um... You have celestite, soothe your soul. This could be something around fitness, right? I'm also getting that this might also just be guidance for you right now because we've been talking about some really heavy things. I might have been brought up some heavy stuff for you. Um, like if you need to pause the video or you want to listen to the rest of this while you're kind of doing some stretching, moving around, cleaning, moving that energy, doing some kind of like breath work or yoga or something. Um, 
dance even. You could do that or just do that and come back to this or do it after this reading, but some, some personal guidance for you there. <laughs> but also this could be um, part of kind of what you're doing for people is getting people up, get moving. Um, in some ways, this is also like get up, get moving, stop sitting in this loss of what was or who you thought you were or how things were going to be or whatever. And let's move forward. Um, but honestly, I would be surprised if some of this is almost like dancing, helping people dance through. This is one example. This isn't for everyone, right? But million dollar idea could be something along like helping people dance through and to their new identity, right? Or through that identity lost in a way to soothe their soul. Um, it could also be yoga. I could see you doing, it could be something like, right? With the body, it could be breath work. It could be something, anything with the physical nature of things, the nervous system, moving things, exercise, nutrition, finding your identity through your nutrition, finding identity through health, through exercise, right? Like this doesn't have to be it, but it, it could be something with the body, with the physical more, um, you know, material realm of things of people's using their bodies to help them reconnect with who they are on a deeper level, right? Rainbow obsidian, heal your heart, and then that'll help you heal people's hearts. That's gonna help people so much. Like, this is just that beautiful confirmation of like, you're here to, this million dollar idea, something that it's like, it's gonna help people move forward into their new identity, move forward with their life. Um, again, it could be physically also, linking movement, body, all that to, to helping them find themselves again. Um, and it's just gonna, it's gonna, this is really truly heart work. It's gonna help people's heart. It's gonna help people so much. It's so beautiful. All right. Um, really heart centered work. That's what I see. You care a lot too, and you have a big heart. Uh, and the world needs that and needs you, but also like you get to be making sure you're taking care of your own heart throughout all this again, if you decide to go down this route. Deck four. Okay, last couple cards from the Wealthy Woman Oracle deck for you. Let's just see what you need to do to make money with this. What you need to do to make money with this million dollar idea. Prosperous overflow. Again, letting, um, Letting the money in, not being shy or afraid of charging, right, for your services, knowing that in charging it is for the highest good of all, as long as you are just aligned with your prices and not charging too high or too low. Um, and really just making sure you're supported and able to do your work to the best of your ability to whatever it is that you're offering or doing with people or whatever this million dollar idea is. Uh, make sure you're being fairly compensated and it's also inspiring the people uh, you work with to, to actually you know, take action and move forward because it's, it's change, change is hard. Key holder, you have all the answers within you. So follow your intuition, okay? Follow your intuition, trust yourself as you start to put this into, oh, into, as you start to, if you decide to act on this million dollar idea, this download you get uh, to help other people reconnect with them, reforge their identities or come home to themselves in whatever way through whatever means or medium you do that through, whether directly or indirectly. Listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, uh, lead with your heart, right? The universe is saying you don't even really need that much of a strategy. Like, of course, as someone who has coached people at very high rates for a very long time on business strategy, um, I can say strategy is a good thing in business, but What's more important is that is whatever you do, that you're just taking action that is aligned with you. You can learn bits and pieces of strategy and cobble together your own strategy that works for you over time. And that's honestly how I would prefer most people approach business and approach building strategy is trust yourself, trust what feels right to you. You have a strong sense of who you are and you're stepping more and more into knowing who you are deck for. So trust that and let that lead and do not do anything that would compromise who you are, do strategies that don't feel good to you or, you know, create a business model around whatever you create or take jobs that would allow you to do this thing that don't feel right to you or that compromise truly what is at the core of your heart and what you want to do. And as long as you're following that, the money comes in, you'll be able to charge in a way that feels an integrity with you, but it's, you have to be willing to listen to yourself. The universe is saying, if you go down this path, do not forsake your inner guidance and your heart and what you know to be true in your own identity and sense of self for what other people or other gurus or other business mentors say you should do to be successful. You are, this is your unique path that you are uniquely equipped to walk. So you need to 
listen to yourself and trust yourself. That means you can also decide like, hey, it feels right to me. I just have 22, 22 for you. There's so much alignment for you in this reading. Uh, you need to ask, you know, like yourself at any time, like, do I feel like, okay, I'm just not finding the right opportunities. Okay, then I'm going to put up a job posting because that feels right. Or I'm going to ask someone to teach me how to put up a job posting because in this field or to reply to job posting, sorry, for this and send out resumes. Um, or if I'm starting a business around this or an offer in my business and I feel like it's not reaching people, I'm not getting visibility, maybe I'll hire someone to help me get visibility, but it has to be the person who, what they do and the way they work with me and the strategies they give me, they feel right to me, right? So trust yourself, trust what you know you need to improve on and trust yourself to find the route to do it by always just trusting what feels aligned to you and what helps you feel more and more like you and more and more like home in yourself and stay true to you because that's what you're teaching others, right? So live what you want to impart on others through this million dollar idea. Yeah. Wow. All right. Deck four. This was quite an extraordinary and, uh, and really beautiful reading. So I want to thank you. I don't always say that, but thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you because this, this was really beautiful and sacred, this deck in particular. I mean, they all are to me, but this, this energy that you're carrying and that's activating more within you and with what you're going to bring to the world with, with these ideas is uh, really, really beautiful and very needed. So I hope you enjoyed this reading deck for it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up comment below letting me know what you took from this reading, how it resonated. I love getting to hear your thoughts on these. I truly appreciate your comments uh, more than you know. You are also welcome, if you're not already, to subscribe to my channel for future card readings for abundance. If you want to come join me inside of the Wealth Vibe membership so you can get access to all the resources, support, and community you need to trust yourself. This is another big thing we're doing this month and all months and value what you bring to the table, uh, but all just the resources you need to actually manifest the wealth you desire, all the community you need to do that. Um, I would love to get to connect with you there in the membership. So the link for the Wealth Vibe membership and the link to pre-order the Wealthy Woman Oracle deck, uh, both of those links are in the description and in the pinned comment below. So with all of that being said, I'm wishing you so much inspiration, so much clarity on this, uh, so much just being true to yourself and as always, massive prosperity and abundance. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.